Okay, listen to me, listen to me right now, okay? Okay? Not everybody deserves your um, softness. Not everybody under like not everybody deserves your understanding, okay? Um, especially if you're a kind of person who tries your best to be understanding. Um, one thing that I have definitely learned with dealing, unfortunately, with several narcissists, and when I use that word, I don't use it lightly. I don't mean someone that has mildly inconvenienced me. I don't mean someone who is uh, pretty full of themselves. I don't throw that term around lightly. I mean that I have been in a situation with this person, examined what happened, went to therapy, talked it over with them, and determined that this person was a narcissist, okay? Don't use that term lightly. Like, I know a lot of people use a lot of terms lightly. I do not. Like, when I tell you these people are not interested in mutual understanding, you have to realize that, okay? Like, they're, like you can try to go about it the most diplomatic way. You can be kind. You can be really, really nice. You can be gentle. And they don't fucking deserve it, okay? And I say this not because I'm like, oh, I'm advocating for you being a bitch in any situation no matter what. I'm just saying that if you ever want to protect your peace from people like that, you have to realize that kindness, that shit don't work. That shit don't work. Like... You got to be firm. You have got to set ultimatums and sometimes because like let's let's be honest, the relationship is over. Okay? It's done. Hopefully you get to a hopefully you get to a point where you realize like there's no fucking saving that. Like and if you stay, like this person is just going to continue to play this game where they control you, where they try to get you to do as many things as they want you to do for their fucking gain. They don't care about your fucking feelings. They do not care about what's mutually beneficial. All they care about is what they can get out of you. All you all they care about is how you can make them feel or how doing things to you can make them feel. They don't fucking care. It could be your parent, it could be a fucking friend, it could be your boss. And let me, I'm saying this because I'm saying this because these people have the potential to destroy your life. Okay? One of them destroyed mine. One of them destroyed my childhood and my sense of self-worth. And I'm gonna have to go through therapy for the rest of my life to figure that out. Okay. I'm saying because it really is that fucking serious. It really is that fucking serious. The last time I, the last time I thought, oh, you know, like dealing with somebody like this, it, it's gonna be painful, but it's never gonna be that serious. Guess what? It turned out to be really, really that fucking serious. Protect yourself. Don't fucking worry about. Don't do just do not do not worry about being fucking diplomatic and civil to the point where I'm just to the point where you just don't do anything to protect yourself. You know what I mean? I'm not saying be a fucking menace and play their goddamn game, right? Or become like them. But like, if you see something happening, it like at work or something, like for instance, like write shit down, journal that shit, and when you have enough, go to HR, okay? Don't wait months and months and months to see if he'll just blow over. No, we don't have time for that. We don't have time to give that shit a chance. We don't have time to feel sorry for them and be like, well, they're going through a hard time or whatever. Nobody's that fucking bad. It'll blow over. No. Or like, I, do, I would hate to, you know, make trouble for them over a little thing. No, it's not a little thing because you deserve to live in peace, right? You deserve to walk into your home, walk into your job, walk into whatever, a friend's house, whatever, without feeling anxious, without knowing that you're in for another round of hell. You deserve that. And if the consequences for them fucking with you is the lesson that they need to learn, and guess what? It's the lesson that they need to learn. That's none of your business. That's not your fucking fault. They chose to be a fucking asshole to you. They chose to abuse you. They chose to bully you. And your obligation to you is to protect your fucking self. Your obligation to you is to whatever way you gotta need to be, whatever way you need to be like, Listen, we're not fucking doing this. I'm not fucking doing this. You stop doing this to me or else this is what's going to happen. You can fuck around and find out. I can bring you in hot. I can bring you in warm. Or I can bring you in cold. It's up to you. Fuck that. <clears throat> no. Some people do not 
do not deserve your softness because they're planning on taking advantage of it. They probably already have. So for you to be more soft and finding a solution, that's not the solution, trust me. Trust me, the solution is a clean break. The solution is a clean fucking break. Trust me, I learned my lesson once with one narcissist where I just let it drag on and I let them, I let them. And to be fair, to be fair, they were probably gonna do what they were gonna do anyway. But I allowed for more time for that to happen because I was like, oh, nobody's that bad. Nobody's that bad, no. No. And then after that, every narcissist after that, because unfortunately there were more, right? Because there's never just one. Like if you're, if you're the type of person to keep on encountering this, like this kind of person, like you're probably gonna keep on encountering it. Everyone after that, I knew that it was clean break time. Clean break. No, no. I am like, I'm a one red flag person, not yellow. You know what I mean? Some people got yellow, but there are some red. I've talked about this before in another red. There are some red fucking flags, scarlet flags. When I say that, I'm like, no, go, I'm done. Absolutely not. Either you're a what, red flags that indicate that you're probably a narcissist or that you're a flying monkey enabler of a narcissist. Bye. Because both of those kinds of people have ruined me. Both of those kinds of people have done everlasting damage to me. Don't let that shit happen to you. Don't let it happen as much as you fucking can. Okay? <clears throat> no. No. I talked to my therapist. Like, like this, is, this is something I had to work through. I was so concerned with, you know, taking, like, you know, high ground. And again, you know, just like like handling it as nobly as possible in some situations just can't be handled like a girl scout or a boy scout person scout <laughs> it cannot be handled like a scout as in girl scout boy scout person scout like it has, sometimes it got to be handled like a like an attack on titan scout you know what i mean <laughs> like, sometimes it's got to be like that you can't escape you, you can't, you cannot, there's no way you can get through life without people not liking you, without people not liking you. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. So if it's going to happen, at least let it be for the right fucking reasons. You know, at least let it be because you stood your fucking ground while trying to do the least damage to others. Because standing up for yourself doesn't need to do damage to people that don't deserve it. But some people have it fucking coming because that is their fucking nature. Some people have it coming. And they don't deserve your softness. Protect your fucking self. Get out. Have somebody sit there. Have a mediator. Get a fucking lawyer. Whatever the situation is that you got to do. Drop the fucking papers. Like, <clears throat> drop that fucking, you know, restraining order. Set that ultimatum. File that lawsuit. Whatever the fuck. It doesn't have to get to that. Like, <clears throat> by all means, try to, like, do what you can for yourself so that you don't have to do anything that drastic. That's just going to cause you more stress. I'm going to say it again. Some people do not deserve your softness. For some people, you got to pull out the firearms. Okay.